Sorry for being lazy. I haven't done a whole lot in Mantle Run. But this video is gonna be worth it, I promise. The title is not a glitch. However much you think that the title is hyped up, it's gonna be a lie. It is not. It is a glitch. It is a glitch that will make you millions of coins. I'm not quite at a million yet, but I haven't done this glitch for a long time. I wanted to share it with you guys, so let's get into it. Now, the standard YouTube approach right now would be to ask you for like a subscription, all that kind of stuff, but I won't. I won't. Please watch till the end of the video and watch how this method has been a success for me and it will be for you guys. And then decide if you want to give me a subscription. Not going to force you into anything. Just watch the video and I'll promise you you'll likely subscribe i don't know obviously the you're your own person i don't want to force you into doing anything but we'll see the idea of this method is going to be to play easy games versus ea bots not bots in the sense of their player who just doesn't know how to play the game real bots that ea has coded to get easy wins it is a very time effective method efficient method that is the word i was looking for which means that you're basically you want to make the coins a man NFL pro would make playing head-to-head uh, -head just way more time efficiently now for this you can't get banned it can't happen so do this at your own risk I haven't gotten banned yet I don't know how it will work for you guys but for me it has worked out pretty well because you can get banned for it if I were you I'd get an alternate account an account where you don't care about the record nobody knows the tag nobody knows that it's you Basically, I have some pride. I don't want to have my friends know or think that I'm losing all these games when in reality I'm not. Just up to you guys. Also, I don't want to get banned on my main account. That's the thing. How do you get an alternate account? Basically, if you have PS Plus on one of your accounts or I don't know how it's called it, Xbox. Basically, the thing that allows you to play online. If you have that on one account on your PS4, you don't need to buy it for another account. So you just open another account with your email if you don't know how to get a second email well then you're way behind the sticks <laughs> I'm sorry you'll have to google that or whatever just create an alternate email create an alternate account log on to Madden Ultimate Team with that account then you have to play the first two rival solos which I'm gonna show you on the screen right here they're really easy you get two of them pr fairly quickly so do that um, Austrian Prodigy that's my, my main tag um, just the these two right there very easy. I think one needs to get gain five yards and the other one needs to score a touchdown. Very simple stuff. And once you get that done, you go to um, the you go to the head-to-head -head seasons, and you will lose your first 50 to 100 games. I only lost 50 on this account, and it worked for me. So probably 50 games losing should be good enough. How do you lose quickly? You just quit out. Just quit out of the first 50 games, and then after that, EA will make you play against bots. Now that's where the money uh, that's where the money is going to be made basically now how do you know that you're playing against the bot it is fairly simple there are a couple of steps to consider they have a very random tag what i mean with that random uh, letters random numbers all jumbled up and basically it doesn't make any sense there are no uh, most of the times they're not no not uh, real words it's just a combination of letters and numbers and that's pretty easy to spot. Also, it's mostly an all bronze team. So if you see the top three and it's all bronze, you can be pretty sure that it's a bot. It's gonna be a bot about 90% of the time because no same person is gonna log on to head to head with the 60 overall if he wants over the all bronze team, if he wants to play a regular game of man. That's usually not gonna happen. Now, what do these bots usually do? They quit. They quit instantly. Sometimes you kick off and then the bot will hit pause and he will quit. That's the easiest thing you want. That's the best thing. You'll get a win for that. Now, sometimes they won't quit and they'll take a delay of game if they have the ball on offense. Eh, takes a little bit longer, but it's kind of like it's kind of the same thing. That's going to happen to you about 85% of the time. Now, I have not done the arithmetic on it, but that's just from experience. That's what's going to happen most of the time. Sometimes you'll get a more advanced bot. What do you mean that advanced? Basically, he's going to do the same thing. Um, he might have a little bit of a better team. He might have some goals sprinkled in there. Maybe an, even an elite. But he'll do the same thing. Sometimes, again, this is very rare, but it can happen to you, so don't be thrown off by it. He might have a random tag. He might have a better team with some goals. And sometimes he'll even run a player or two on defense. 
if you um how do i say this if you have the ball on offense and you and you see one of those bots you're not sure if you want just run one play on offense and see if he quits if he doesn't quit call another play and if he plays defense for one more down then you play against a real person then you want to quit that game but other than that if you run one play the bot is gonna quit if he's not if he's not gonna quit he's not a bot it's that easy you only want to play against bots so if it's pretty obvious to see if you're playing against a bot because he's gonna quit if he doesn't quit you're the one who's gonna quit it is all about time now how do you get the bot to quit most efficiently depends on a couple of things do you kick off or do you receive if you kick off then everything is good because either the bot is going to quit or he's going to take a delay of game he can't do that because he has the ball on offense that's pretty simple once again if this does not happen he might also call a play he might call a play run defense for one down if he calls another play then you play a, a real person um but if he has the ball he's going to take a delay of game either on the first play or on the second play now if he does not have the ball which means you receive then you will punt the ball to him why do you do that because you want to give him the chance to delay of game once again if you punt the ball to him and he doesn't quit or uh, do the delay of game three times also i hadn't mentioned this yet if you get if one person gets a delay of game three times and it's accepted always this is called excessive griefing that person who got the penalties is gonna be um, kicked out of the game so either that is gonna happen or you're playing a real person that's fairly simple if you're playing against a real person you should quit now there are sometimes there's sometimes the case where you're gonna match up against someone who's trying to do the same thing who doesn't have a random tag like a bot would but also has a bad team now in that case what I like to do I like to play a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a mental game with them what that means is I'll call a play on offense and sometimes they quit because they think oh, I'm gonna play this game straight up which in reality I'm gonna run this one play if he doesn't quit then I'll just quit so sometimes there's a little bit of uh, mental games there but that's very rare the most important thing is you lose the 50 games, so I kind of summarize again at the end of the video. Lose the 50 games, then play versus bots. I'll uh, get, I have a script right here. I'll send the script, I'll put it in the description if you want to read how the method works again. Um, if you're not playing a bot, which is fairly easy to spot on those four tips that are, uh, or those four hints that I showed you, if you're not playing a bot, then quit the game because we don't want to spend our time playing real people. It's way more efficient if you just quit, take the loss on the season, whatever, get into the next game, play against the bot, spend 30 seconds on that game, and get 4k coins. Now that's it. You see I have 911,000 coins. That is just from doing this method. Also, I'm in Legend Division. I haven't played a single game yet. I haven't played a single full game. It's just these bots quitting on me, and now it gets really, really effective with the coins. Because you get around 7k per win in Legend. This is where the money is going to be made. It'll take a while to get there. You'll have to rank up. In the low ranks, the reward per game is not that great. Right here, it's it's uh, it's it's stupid how much coins you get can get. Not even by playing the game. Now, having said that, you still can get banned. So, I think once I get to 1 million, I'll transfer my coins over to my main account. If you want to know how to do that, basically, just put up a card uh, for the amount of coins you want to transfer to your main account. Uh, on your main account, put that up on the auction house, buy that. That is one thing. Also, what you can do is you can look. That's a little bit more risky because it's fairly easy to spot for EA. Now, if you want to be a little bit smarter about it, you can buy platinum cards. Platinum cards are elites that will quick sell for a lot of coins. Basically what that means, if you want to transfer 200,000 coins, you look, I don't know if there's a 200,000 coin platinum, uh, uh, platinum card out there, but if there is, you would buy that platinum card, 
trade it over to your main account and then you can quick sell it over there those are the two ways i usually just take the risk because i don't have time for looking uh at snipes uh, for look i don't have time for looking for snipes uh, if i just want to transfer my coins i don't want to snipe these platinum cards it just takes too long that's just me 911 coins i'll get to 1 million transfer that over have a great time on my main account that's it for this video i'm sorry i haven't been lazy this is however i think i'm gonna make up now if you enjoyed this video like i said at the beginning subscribe i think you gotta subscribe this is probably the most efficient coin making method in madden and i don't i don't see it being patched anytime soon like if you did like the video and i'm out thanks for spending the time on my video subscribe like i said of course only if you enjoyed it see you in the next video peace out